guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. It is Friday, December 4th. What time is it? It is about 2 p.m. Uh, my husband and I just got home. We were in Albany since this morning. We got our son to school and we headed down to Albany pretty early. Um, we had to finish up our Christmas shopping. We stopped at Trader Joe's. Um, and I also, we stopped at a liquor store, so I'll show you some things we got. Um, some of the stuff is for gifts the liquor store stuff, and um, some of the stuff from Trader Joe's are just little gifty items, which I'll talk about when I get to each item. Um, from Trader Joe's, though, we spent $115. I'm going to start on this side and work my way down. Um, this kind of was last minute. We were already down by Trader Joe's, and we just said, why not stop in and grab some stuff? So, we love their nuts. Um, they have a large variety, so... We got some candied walnuts. Um, these are really good on salads, actually, and obviously as is, but they are really sweet, so I actually like them in um, as like a little topping in salads. I get these a lot, the dry roasted and salted almonds, and then Matt picked out some roasted and solid um, pecan halves. I also got some butter croissants for just sandwiches or just to toast up and have for breakfast. I've never seen um, this wrap before. It's the rainbow wrap. It's roasted sweet potato, curried hummus, beet, and spinach. And it's in this like, looks like a beet wrap. Um, so I'll probably have that like this weekend. We had we actually ate lunch down in Albany, so I don't need this right now. Uh, Matt picked out these crispy, crunchy broccoli florets um, as like a little snack. I've never seen those before. Um, I need some needed some soy sauce, so I get the Trader Joe's reduced sodium soy for different Asian recipes. Um, I did grab the rice orzo pilaf mix. I've never tried this before, so that would be, you know, just a quick, easy side dish. These here, I think they're seasonal, but I could be wrong because I've never seen them. Um, but one is for Matt and I to try, and one is I'm going to send my brother and his girlfriend um, they live out in Los Angeles now, and I'm going to send them like a snack box. So this one is for Matt and I. It's the Step Up to Snack Bar Mix. Looks like this. Um, it says it has honey mustard pretzel pieces, honey roasted peanuts, corn chips with flax seeds, cheddar crackers, honey roasted sesame sticks, and chili lemon corn sticks. So just like a little snack maybe to put out for football. And then this is the one I'm going to send my brother and his girlfriend. It's the spicy snack bar mix. Looks like that. Um, this one has jalapeno pretzels, sesame chips, spicy che cheese corn sticks, spicy chili almond, and chili lemon corn, like little crunchy things. So I think they were like $2.99. Um, again, I've never seen them before today. Grady asked for strawberries this morning. Um, I got some baby broccoli to just saute up as like a quick side. Never seen these either. There were a lot of things I've never seen before. Um, but this is the charcuterie pinwheels. So it's rolled and uncured pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and rolled uncured um, soppressata and mozzarella cheese little pinwheels. So I thought I would use these for charcuterie when we do you know, for Christmas Eve, like with my parents. Um, this doesn't expire till February of 21, so they'll be long gone before then, but I don't get to Trader Joe's that often. It's about an hour away, <clears throat> so I thought this would be good just to grab now since I don't think I'll be able to go back before Christmas. Um, the green beans I always get at Trader Joe's. These are the French Cut Air Colbert green beans. Um, they are a 24-ounce bag. I love these. They're the, some of the best green beans I've ever had. Um, Christmassy stuff is here. So someone I'm gifting to is just a huge dark chocolate lover of anything dark chocolate. So <clears throat> one of the things I got for them are these dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Pretty self-explanatory. I also got for the same person these um, Belgian dark chocolate uh, non perils They're like the little chocolate candy with the sprinkles on them. And then for the same person, they're also going to get these dark chocolate crisps. So they are thin curved waves of Belgian chocolate with crunchy rice bits in them. Kind of look like chips, but they are dark chocolate. 
So those three dark chocolate items are a gift for the same person along with some other items, but I don't, I like to get that person dark chocolate things each year. Um, these two little uh, tree cookies, let me show you guys one of them. They are milk chocolate filled, white chocolate drizzle, festive sprinkle cookies. There are eight large, they're pretty large and this box is pretty heavy um, cookies in here. They were only like $2.99, so I got two of them that I'm going to use um, as part of someone else's, you know, two people's gifts. I can't say names, obviously, because a lot of people who I gift to, unfortunately, watch my videos. So, you know, they might not necessarily know it's for them, but I can't, I don't really want to say, like, who it's for. Um, I got a black pepper corn grinder. Um, I've talked about their peppercorn grinders before they're really good. I probably should have gotten another one, but my mission is to find a large one of these that is going to last me for like months and months. Um, I got this Island Salsa. It is chunky salsa with mango, pineapple, and red jalapeno peppers. I thought this would be really good with shrimp or chicken as well as like a little topping. Um, I got my son some organic whole milk yogurt pouches, strawberry, beet, and berry. I got these for a football appetizer. Um, they are cornbread bites with pepper jack cheese and serrano chili peppers. So I thought those would be good for Matt and I for football. Um, another thing I've gotten quite a few times is the rainbow cauliflower. You literally can just pour it out of the bag frozen and roast it with some olive oil, salt and pepper, some garlic. It's just really good and an easy side. Um, I got some wild baby arugula. I think this is baby arugula. Yes. Um, I like arugula a lot. It's very peppery for salads to throw on sandwiches. It's just really good green. <clears throat> Another item I've never seen is the one potato, two potato. It is a creamy, cheesy gratin of sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, and mushrooms. It's just something like you bake, again, an easy side with like chicken or pork chops or something like that. I always like to have just easy sides that are something different. That's, you know, so I'm not just making the same rice and potatoes and pasta every time. Um, so I thought that would be good to try. This is the Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. I love cauliflower. It's actually one of my favorite vegetables. So I actually thought this would be great for a no meat option um, with some like steamed rice or basmati rice or something and then like some kind of a green vegetable. Um, I just am excited to try this. I love anything cauliflower related. I also got the honey walnut shrimp. This is my favorite like frozen dinner from Trader Joe's. I used to love their um, orange chicken and their sesame chicken, but I actually like this better. Um, so I really don't buy the orange chicken or the um, general South chicken much anymore. I don't know why. I just think I'm kind of burnt out on it, but I really do like this one with rice and a veggie. And then I also got this veggie fried rice. Again, just as a quick side to use when I make some kind of Asian-ish dish. And I like to add some scrambled egg to this to bulk it up a bit. Um, you could even make this into a whole meal, like you could add shrimp or maybe like a leftover meat that you need to use up, bulk it up a little bit with an egg, and you have a complete meal. So that's everything, I think, from Trader Joe's. Um, and then we also stopped at a liquor and like slash wine store. The place is huge. It's like the size of Walmart, and they have the best prices. Um, so for a friend of ours, again, not saying names, um, my husband picked this out. It is a, it's from... Um, Cooperstown, I don't know if that's going to show up, Cooperstown Distillery, um, it is like a baseball, obviously shaped um, bottle, and it is a handcrafted artisanal spirit bourbon, so I think that's going to be a really gift, good gift for somebody that we get to. Um, we also got this Bacardi Black, um, it's like a spiced rum for uh, someone that we give to as well. Um, and I got a bottle of this um, Luna brand. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Uh, this is a, let me move it over here. This is a 2017 um, single vineyard Malbec wine. And then also a Roscato, which is a red uh, Moscato. So it's like a sweet red wine. And then I did pick up three of these. I don't know where the other two are actually, but I picked up three of these um, 
cheers to the holiday, like heavy. This is like a heavy duty wine bag to put this and the two bottles of wine in. And obviously this won't fit in there. So I'm just going to use a regular um, like short wider gift bag for that. But yeah, just thought I would share the liquor because I know people are always looking for different like wines and different things like that. You know, this time of year, if you gift things like that, we gift a lot of uh, wine and stuff as well. But anyways, that's everything we picked up from Trader Joe's and the liquor and wine store. Um, I'm going to share just a real quick meal plan for next week. I really am kind of just winging it um, and just kind of writing down different ideas. But this is a busy time of year, as you guys know, for everybody. So I don't always follow the meal plan. And I don't always follow the meal plan even when it's not a busy time of year. I just sort of have it as a backup plan um, in case I'm stumped. And I already have, you know, an idea of what I can make based on the ingredients that I have. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. So meal plan for the upcoming week. I'm actually filming this in my son's room because Matt is in the garage. He is... Um, working on a project for a customer. Um, for those who don't know, I, I think most people know, Matt has been working for himself since May of 2020. Obviously, everything shut down in March here, just like everywhere else. And he, for eight weeks, he um, was just kind of contemplating uh, of doing his own thing. So since May of 2020, he's been completely self-employed. Um, he does custom, you know, woodworking as well as custom like home improvement, carpentry related projects for like local, well, kind of local, like within a two hour radius of where we live. He also does a little bit of property preservation. So he is really happy doing that. But unfortunately, the days he's home and I'm working from home, um, sometimes it's really loud because he is using all kinds of like saws and power tools and things like that. So if you can hear that in the background, I do apologize. I tried to go as far away from the garage where he's working. So you'd hopefully be able to hear me. So for the upcoming week, of course, I'm going to do some Trader Joe's things, which is why I bought them with the intention to use them. So one night, again, no particular order. I'm going to do that walnut shrimp with some rice. I've got some basmati rice and then some kind of veggies. I might just do those air cover green beans. For our no meat night, I'm going to do that cauliflower tempura with rice and veggies. One night we're going to do BLT sandwiches. I already have the bacon, the lettuce, and the tomato, and the bread. And then I'll just cut up some potatoes and make like some oven like wedge fries. Um, I've got ground turkey to use up. So I'm going to do like a turkey sweet potato chili. It's really good. It has black beans in it and diced tomatoes. It's really tasty. Um, and then I'll just do some like boxed cornbread mix. Super easy for dinner one night. I'm going to do some roasted either chicken breast or chicken thighs. We'll, we will go ahead and try that Trader Joe's potato bake like gratin. And then I'll just do a simple side salad. And then I've been liking a lot of like soup and salads or soup and sandwiches. Um, so I might do Manhattan, Manhattan clam chowder. I'm pretty sure I have all the ingredients and Matt's been asking for that. That's like one of his favorite soups. I am not a huge fan of Manhattan clam chowder. I like New England and I do love clams. I'm just not the biggest fan of Manhattan. So I don't know. We'll see if I make that or not. Um, and then if not, something else and we'll have some kind of a salad with it. And then of course, as always, I have my freebie night where I can make whatever I feel like or leftovers or breakfast whatever I'm in the mood for. So that's the meal plan for the upcoming week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.